Ever wondered when you can safely enjoy a drink after taking your erectile dysfunction or ED medication? Well, it's a wise move to wait until the medication has entirely left your system. For instance, Viagra and Levitra typically linger for about a day, while Cialis can persist for up to five days. Yet, as we all know, every individual is unique. Therefore, it's prudent to consult with your healthcare provider to determine the safest time for you to indulge in a drink. One crucial point to remember is that medications like Viagra are intended for use as needed, not on a regular basis. This implies that you may not always foresee when you'll need to take it. Hence, if you've already consumed a few drinks, you might want to reconsider taking ED medications. Now you might be wondering, are there any ED treatments that aren't affected by alcohol? Indeed, there are some alternatives to medications that may be less risky when combined with alcohol. These include a vacuum device, which is a plastic tube that induces a vacuum to enhance blood flow into the penis, an implanted device that helps create an erection, and surgery to repair blocked arteries causing ED. Do bear in mind that these treatments involve a healthcare professional's intervention, and some like surgery may not be suitable for everyone. Lifestyle changes such as limiting alcohol and drug use and maintaining physical activity can also help manage ED. Moreover, it's worth discussing with your healthcare provider if any other medications you're taking might be contributing to ED. And let's not forget the power of behavioral counseling to manage anxiety and depression, which can often be underlying factors in ED. In conclusion, it's best to steer clear of alcohol while taking ED medications like Viagra. Not only can alcohol potentially undermine the medication's effects, but it can also intensify side effects like flushing and headaches. Always consult your healthcare provider before mixing alcohol with medications like Viagra. Together, you can explore potential underlying causes, lifestyle changes, and other ED treatment options that might be a good fit for you.